Nighttime in Tuscaloosa, Brian Denny Stadium. It is filled to the brim. The home team, the Alabama Crimson Tide, undefeated. Ranked number two in the country. The visitors from Baton Rouge, likewise undefeated. Ranked number one, the Tigers of LSU. They bring four. Low snap, Lee picks it up, drills it, intercepted. That's his first interception since Mississippi State. McCarron will hold. Blocked. Picked up in the air. And LSU's Eric Reed hurt. Toss. Where? Caught short. Two seconds. And One. He, he did that burn to say. Not this time. Settled for the three. The hold. Joey Crapel is the snapper. And you can tell by the sun. He can throw. Hayes puts it up. Has to wait on it. Got it. Michael Williams. And Mike, which way? Which way? Intercepted. Oh, no. Eric Reed. I thought, sure, that Williams had it. Perception. Now, what we think here is maybe Williams was still bobbling it. Yeah, I think Reed's going to end up with that ball. He does have one from 46 tonight. No. LSU remains undefeated. Hit the vertical seam. Nice throw. They come back with the running back. Michigan strikes first. Somewhere, someplace, Bo Schimbeckler is smiling. Throws for a wide open touchdown, and it's Rory Hall. And a spinning move, breaking free, headed for the end zone. Chris Wells. 52 yard. He's going to fire for it. In zone. Got it. Touchdown. Goes back to Robisky. Brian Robisky. Away from the pressure, still has to throw and does. Complete. Touchdown, Michigan. Bounce right back and it hit Tyler Ecker. Snaps it on two. Game over. Ohio State will play for a national championship. The Buckeyes beat their arch rival again. Here at Texas Memorial Stadium, it's the number one Ohio State Buckeyes versus the number two Texas Longhorns. Given the old ball coach fits in that one down side. Smith rolling the pocket. Tomley fires touchdown in the corner of the end zone down there. Tremendously understand the offense. Rolls pocket right backside throws. Got it. Touchdown, Texas. Colt McCoy hits Billy Pittman. And they're an extra point away from a tie. Throwing deep. Ginn runs it in. Touchdown, Ted Ginn. And he beat Ross. Deontay Johnson, the fullback. Trying to drop the hammer for the end zone. They want the signal. Nothing yet. On the carry. Touchdown, Antonio Pittman. Came down here. And they just had a wonderful time, and of course, winning the football game. Well, that's just frosting, folks. And there's a penalty. That might have been a face mask. I don't know. Uh, we'll hang on to Selvin Young. Cut across the field, looking to pick up a block. And he I want to see the fire. I want to see the intensity and the leadership that this team played with last year because tonight it wasn't on display. All I can say folks is that Ohio State came to Austin and messed with Texas. One ranked Florida Gators travel to Tallahassee to take on the number two ranked Florida State Seminoles in a 1996 showdown. Taylor's the deep man. Werfel circles. Throws for the corner, and it'll be picked off. 
they don't get a touchdown here, the Gators will win this first. There it is. Who there? Place. This is Busby. Throws. Touchdown. First and goal. Throws it for the corner. It's touchdown. Jack is green. Crowd coming up, trying to help the defense. Pressure coming, worth its pass. Touchdown, Jack is green. Bag from this distance. He gets it up. No good. There's a chance for him to put it away. They give it to Williams. He does not budge it. Yes, he did. They did, too. He fell down. Second effort. He wiggled off the top and fell over the side and rolled into the end zone. The two. Anthony, touchdown. Wait until the Nokia Sugar Bowl in New Orleans for their chance to claim a national championship. And that snap of the ball will do it. Your final score, Florida State 24, Florida 21. In this, the battle between number one and number two. Now both teams are lingering in the tunnel. They're posturing at one another. They're pointing at one another. You see the Florida State guy. Bobby Bowden is right in front of me, and he's trying to push his team out. Lou Holtz is restraining his team. Here it comes. Pass complete, right side. Touchdown, Kevin Knox. To McBride, he is split up, and we're looking at a reverse on the bench. It is Jarrell has three blockers in front to the 20. He's going to score. He does. Beckham, he is clear. 50, 10, 5, touchdown. And the game is to Jeff Burns. Burns into the end zone, touchdown. play on the drive. And here's a little swing. Left side here is done again. He dies for it. And he's got it. Touchdown, Florida State. They have scored in the ball game off of this alignment. And they're going to do it again. Same man, Jeff Burroughs. This isn't hard. You rush three and backpedal everybody else into the end zone. Jeff With the pile of to Dick Inberg. Oh, my! Knocked away! Sean Wooden! Notre Dame wins! 31-24! The Miami Hurricanes, number two in the country, 8-0. Against the Florida State Seminoles, they're 10-0. They're knocking on the door. Give it to McGuire. He's short. He's got a touchdown. Fullback touchdown. Paul Moore. Now it's a 31-yard try. And good. Werder from 45 yards out. Plenty of leg. And he got it. Carlos Huerta. Larry Jones. He has it. He's got a touchdown. It's up. Missed it to the right. And all they got to do is snap it. Your final score, Miami, 17, Florida State. 16. That Michigan would like to have get his hands on the ball, and the first time today, as we're ready for the kickoff, I see a patch of blue sky. Long, high, deep, hanging kick, way back into the end zone, the fishbone. Rice rolls it back to throw it. Does throw. Johnson, touchdown. No flag. Get in down here. Taylor loops it to the corner. on the board. From the five. Shoots it into the end zone. Touchdown, Walker. On the nine. Here it comes. Rocket to the 30. Here he goes. Goodbye. 
Touchdown, Notre Dame, no flag. Step in a hurry. He only got one. Nope, going to throw it. Touchdown, McMurtry. Won the championship game. He won a national championship at Notre Dame last year. Somehow, some way, he gets it done. This game is over. Notre Dame, 24, Michigan, 19. Now the Trojans make their entry. Now the Irish entry. The same as USC linebacker Scott Ross told us yesterday, you can't be too wild, you gotta key on your people. Option Rice, wide open, streaking down the sidelines, and he's gonna score, touchdown. No flags, Notre Dame. This is Justin. No, Green. And Green's got a touchdown. Rip. Got the ball. Touchdown. Beat back. Good protection. He passes away. The pass is incomplete. Intended. Intercepted. Intercepted by Magala. And touchdown. Horse McCalla. He stepped right in front of Jackson, and Rodney Pete is down on the field hurt. Mark Green, touchdown, Irving. Twenty-nine at the old ballpark today. With that play, he should have run out the clock, and Tony Southall, the free safety, who came to school as a running back, was the man who had the final carry, and this one is history. Six in a row for Notre Dame. Your final score, the Fighting Irish, 27. Southern California, 10. You know, for the 22nd time in the 52-year history of the AP poll, numbers one and numbers two have come together. And number two has been doing very well. They have won four of the last six confrontations. Now they play. Jones again, and he explodes. Touchdown, Nebraska. Play action. Intercepted. Dixon on the deflection. Oklahoma with a golden opportunity. On the option, the pitch is to Stafford. Collins with the lead block. Touchdown for the Sooners. Down the line with the pitch to Collins. Green leading the way, and Collins looking for daylight. He'll go. Touchdown, Oklahoma. 35-yarder. And that's no good. 140 left for Nebraska. Now Taylor takes it out of bounds to stop the clock with four seconds to go. Taylor. It's out of trouble and then has to just fire it up in the air toward the end zone incomplete and almost intercepted. You haven't seen a team play a better one than this in a long time. In the Orange Bowl because it's one of those rare occasions when number one comes together with number two and this one started brewing a year ago when the Hurricanes of Miami stormed into Oklahoma and upset the Sooners in their own den. They throw on first down. Great quick drop. Out here to the tight end. Touchdown Miami, Charles Henry. 10.35 to go in quarter three, and the Sooners are under fire now, and he comes out again. Stafford smacked down on the 14. The ball is loose, Miami. A roll by Testaverde. Durban, touchdown Miami. 
face an 0-4 situation unless they can rally. Holloway down the middle. He's got Jackson open and looking oh. across the tackle. He'll go. He's a great athlete. again intercepted that one is picked off by McCutcheon McCutcheon's inside the 15 at the 120 mark they bring Oliver wide to the right dives toward the end zone and he is oh, short he wanted that didn't he Jimmy Johnson with Pat O'Brien let's go to Pat Pat Haynes at number one. We'll be right back after this word from your local stations. Defenses, they seem to be confused. Long looking at him under pressure. Steps away from Akers. Comes over to the right side. Throws on it. Is it no? No catch in the back of the end zone. Locker at number 30. At that point, he appears to be inbounds. Coming down, but that official did not make the call. He was in. No question about it. Hopeless with the kick. Iowa has a 35-yard field goal, but they have been robbed of three points. Harbaugh to put it up. Drops, pursues him out of the pocket. He gets around, underhands it to White. White throws for the end zone. He's got the touchdown. What a move by Harbaugh. Six-yard attempt. Holton's kick is up. It's good. Iowa leads. Long enough and it's good. The Wolverines lead 10-9. 10.55 to go. And one and two still raging at each other in Iowa City. A 29-yarder, which would beat Michigan. It's on its way and it's good. Michigan 12-10. Oh, and you will have the football. Oklahoma will kick it off. Michael Keeling is the man that does the kicking for Oklahoma. Help keeps the ball, gets outside, turns it, and touchdown, Oklahoma! For the Trojans, they go to Allen with it. Marcus cuts it back to the left side against the grain. He's loose. He's headed for the corner. Touchdown! 7-7 ball game. Shepard turns, gives to Wilson. Wilson bets is in. Touchdown. Mazur wants to throw it, lobs it up. He's got a man. Touchdown. Come on up. Southern California. He's played so well. That Shepard keeping it. Oh, he got away. Touchdown. Daryl Shepard. He went right over the top of Barb Williams. Strong right. Allen over the top, touchdown! He's got a man over the middle! Complete at the six! The clock stops at 17 seconds. This may be it. Major, he's open, running for the corner, throws it, touchdown! The game for number one, unbeaten and untied Nebraska versus unbeaten and untied Oklahoma. Turns punts as well as kickoffs. It's high in the air, which is what uh, Wiley wanted to do, so there'd be kick coverage, and Rogers gets away. Look at that. Johnny Rogers. Look at the moves by that sensational player, a native of Omaha, and he is going, going, gone. Second and goal. Jeff Denny, touchdown, Nebraska, 13 to 3. This drive coming up. There it is, just waltzes in. Jack Milvin of the Sooners.
And some block by Coran. That's Kosh overrunning it. First and ten with the clock running, and there is a touchdown, Oklahoma, John Harrison. Not to be denied, Jeff Kenny, his third touchdown of the afternoon. I believe Oklahoma having exhausted the timeouts. Here's the fourth down play, and ever trying, Jeff Kenny. And that is... Congratulations to both teams. Just a tremendous battle here. Pride of both teams very evident throughout the 60 minutes on the clock. And all the excitement and color. Nebraska 31, Oklahoma, or correction, 35-31, Nebraska the winner. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the game of the year. This is the home of the Razorbacks in the heartland of America, the foothills of the Ozark Mountains. A standing room only crowd of 44,000 are here as the nation's number one team, the Longhorns from the University of Texas, flying in yesterday, are ready to defend their lofty ranking against the number two team in the nation, the Razorbacks of Arkansas. Nine for Texas, start of the fourth quarter, Jimmy Street in trouble, gets away, there he goes, and Texas is And Street. What a heads up play by Jimmy Street. He has just made eight points on 43 and a half. And going for broke to Randy Peschel. And Peschel catches the ball. What a toss. This is a big one. It's up. Good. Texas for the first time with three minutes and 58 seconds left in the game. They have the lead by one to the far side. Here is Bill Montgomery. Trying to get Reese. Texas. Texas has come up with a big play. And very fitting, Tom Campbell. He and his twin brother, Mike. So there it is. Jubilant Longhorns from Austin, Texas. The Boilermakers of Purdue, from right to left, kicking to Notre Dame. Bob Gladjo is back, one of the men back. Hard field goal tried by Jeff Jones of Purdue. It is up, it is good. And Purdue takes a three to nothing lead. And Raddy pitching out, and Notre Dame is in pay dirt. Denny Allen, number 22. And here is Keyes going for the first down. Look at that move. There he goes. Beautiful play by an All American Leroy Keyes. And let me tell you, that's one of the great runs. Purdue, Bob Dillingham to the far side. Here's uh, Dillingham. The pass being thrown by Keyes. It is a touchdown, Purdue. Leroy Keyes has just thrown a bomb to Bob Dillingham, and Purdue is leading 16 to 7. Purdue with a first and 10 at the 16. Mike Phipps, 6 of 7 in the air. And it is complete to Dillingham. The near side. And Hanratty throws a bullet, and it's a beauty. Jim. Seymour is hugging Tom Eaton. First and 10 at the Notre Dame 17. There's Keyes. And Keyes is gone. What a football player. He has thrown for one. He has raced for two. 16 yards on his first touchdown run and 17 on this honey. Third and six, Hanratty. Out goes Allen. He may get in. Touchdown. Denny Allen of Astabula, Ohio, number 22. And Denny Allen, who caught the touchdown pass, adds two more. Two touchdowns and two successful extra point tries for two. And for their fine pickup of this game is Keepert on a keeper with about eight seconds to go. 
Also, pats on the back to our longtime spotter, Bill Friel, Norristown, statistician, Jerry Capstein, and Ben Gates of Columbia City. Once again, the final score, Purdue, 37. Notre Dame, 22. And now this is Chris Shankle along with Bud Wilkinson saying so long at the 37. Dwight Lee. He was hit quickly by Pete. I'm sure it'd be a little warmer. From the 36, it's a 46-yard boot. It's long enough. It's good! Deep is Gladio. From the 17 plus 10, a 27 yard kick. Here it is. It's good. Joe Azero. Intercepted by Tom Shane. Spartan Seymour to the near side. And Coley O'Brien retains possession. And it looks like that's all at Spartan Stadium. The final score, Michigan State 10, Notre Dame 10. This is Chris Shankle. Incidentally, a seven-man defensive line is being used against him. Blanchard carrying the ball again. He's up to the 20, 25, and knocked down on 27. And he signals he's right down behind the center. It's Johnny back for the forward pass. Cox his arm back, looks for the man. There goes a long Notre Dame pass all the way down to the 10-yard line. Intercepted by Arnold Takalabani. He takes it on the 10, up to the 15, the 20, up to the 25. Stays on the feet, goes to the 30, gets up to the 37. And all fourth down, better than four yards to go. A reverse cross block with Davis giving it to West back to Blanchard. And back to Davis. Four men carrying the ball in the backfield, and I don't think they made a first. Davis was the ultimate man who carried that ball. He reached the note, the five-man line, three men backing that up. Right. There goes Arnold Sucker back for the pass. He's fading back, hands it back to Glenn Davis. Davis throws the pass. Army man racing down. He catches it down on the 20-yard line. Got Blanchard. Army nothing, Notre Dame nothing, and that's all there is. <laughs>